Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, well, it was a long time ago. Like, uh, I started playing MMO. Uh, can I say the, the name of the game? Maybe not. It's fine. Uh, when I played the MMO game, and I came out with the name uh, Okage, which is Shadow, but everybody keep taking that name, so I add the O in the back. And ever since it, it became the name that I'm using. I kind of wish I could change it. You know, do something else. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pronounce. Uh, it's actually very, you know, amazing. Yeah, it's very professional, organized. You know, it's really, really well done. This one, well, it's a different type of convention. Uh, this is more a uh, game-related uh, type of convention. Uh, the one I usually go to are anime-based conventions. So the audience and um, are quite different. Uh, like the people here, they usually came here for you know like previews of game, competitive, just all electronic games and stuff like that. Uh, the one I go to is literally just you know fans and uh, anime games. It started when I saw other cosplayers at the convention, and you know me and a bunch of my friends say, oh, it would be a good idea to do what they do. At least kind of fun. You know, we either look stupid together or it could be a really fun time. Well, the first one I went solo, which was, I guess it didn't turn out too well because I bought it and it didn't really fit. Uh, it was the Gray Man, but my group that I did with a bunch of friends was uh, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, because uh, back when I was uh, started, I always trying to be the best. You know, I want to keep improving. I want to keep making uh, better stuff. Has that changed? It changed definitely because the costs keep getting higher and higher as you want to keep making better stuff and living in California we have access to all types of material uh, I got up to mold and casting it ended up costing me uh, $2,000 to make uh, Monster Hunter armor and it took me about six months to make and at that point that's where the line is drawn you know and I, I realized why am I spending two thousand dollars making custom? You know, maybe there's another way to make something similar. Yeah. So I came out with you know foam and freeform. Foam is your favorite color of concrete. Yes. I sew a little. Yeah, you either go in don't sew or you yeah. go naked, right? Exactly. My mother, like people ask me, you know, I, I always tell people like the reason why I go topless is because I can't sew. <laughs> Simple reason. Oh no, definitely not. It's just uh, they're kind of pricey because you know they're shipping all the way from uh, China to United States. So each custom can run me about 170 dollars unless I really like the custom. Uh, but most of the time, the, I'm pretty particular with the cosplay. Uh, like I would only pick a unique character that nobody really cosplay. So they probably won't sell them on eBay. Uh, well, this one I bought them off uh, eBay. It's supposed to be a group cosplay that nobody ended up doing. <laughs> I ended up going solo. Um, yeah. Even the armor? Oh, the armor I make them. Yeah, because you know, they, they give you a fabric type of armor, so I ended up making myself. I like to use foam a lot just because it's more comfortable and it's really cheap. Uh, but I'm learning to use uh, this new material called uh, Freeform Air. It's, uh, it's, it's basically a clay that people use to sculpt underwater sculpture but it's, it was meant to be floating on top of the water so it's extremely light and it's very durable Is it easy to work with? No, it's cheap but it's like, it's like sculpting with mud so it's a lot of time to sanding you know, when you want to hang out with your best friend just bring your finished sculpture and just start sanding like hey what are you guys doing? Yeah, That's quality time. Date. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, again. exactly. You, know, you want to spend quality time, get to know your friend. That's what you do. You start sanding. And you know who's your friend because the other one will help you to sand. Exactly. If you're my real friend, you come sand with me. Uh, I would say making the custom. That would be the my my uh, my favorite part. I know you gave up on it. I did. 
it's just like the thought of me trying to make a new custom is like oh my god i'm i don't want to do it but when i actually got started i actually had fun <laughs> it's weird you know it's like relationship it's weird it's like you love her but you hate her but you love her sometimes you want her here but sometimes it's like yeah, like once you start working on it, I like it. It's just getting to that point. <laughs> um, everything that I learned is all self-taught. Uh, it's literally... Because uh, back then when I started doing armor, there's not a lot of tutorials. So everything that I do, it has to be done uh, by experiment. Yeah, so it's all self-taught. Hardest part right now is molding and casting. Uh, it's, I think most people will only know what I'm talking about molding and casting. It's you know you sculpt the whole pieces and you put silicone on top and then you cast the silicone. Those. I gotta tell you and tell me sewing is the most difficult. Well, you thought you were asking what I knew, you know? Okay. Sewing, yeah, sewing, sewing. I don't think sewing is like it's hard to master sewing, but it's not that hard to start. It's just every time I, I start sewing, it's like, it's so tedious, there's so many details. Like you have to sew the inside and you sew the outside. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's pretty tedious. For me, uh, yeah, it would be sewing and then molding and casting, working with latex, those are hard. I would have to say Final Fantasy VII uh, Cloud Strike. Yeah. I waited seven years to cosplay that character. Why? Because I can't. Nobody can do the wig, you know. And back when I was, I wanted to do Cloud. Nobody can do Cloud wig. That was like weird looking spike that he has. So I ended up doing Sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> I took the next best thing. Okay. So who? Someone help you with Cloud wig? Huh? Someone help you with Cloud wig? No. After seven years, I. Yeah, I mastered the technique. I learned how to do everything myself. Yep. I am chicken. Yeah, I had it last night. It's very good. Wow. So you like the food in Singapore? Oh yeah. I I had six pack when I came here. I am now down to three packs. I thought that you spent most of your money on snacks. I did. <laughs> I did. What do you buy? There's, I count the snack store just under my hotel. There's literally 15 snack store versus seven actual restaurants. <laughs> Come on, Singapore! You guys are eating way too much snacks. Yeah, that's why we're getting fat. Actually, I don't see a lot of fat people in Singapore. Oh, maybe it's the heat. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> but okay, nice try. Nice try. Uh, if you can sew, go topless. It's the only way to show your top without getting in trouble. Oh, Girl does that all the time. <laughs> then a bra. <laughs> there's, there's more girl doing that than a guy being topless. Um, okay, anything else? Uh, well, cosplay will, it's, cosplay will be fun if you don't, you know, it's, stress over your project you know have fun making your custom cosplay with your friend those are always fun that makes me want to ask you a private question what do you think about cosplay drama cosplay drama you know what i actually never had cosplay drama ever oh well, you're missing out <laughs> yeah because uh because uh, i have this rule with cosplay because my reputation is like mr flake I tend to bail a lot on a, on a lot of group cosplays, but I always tell them beforehand, like, uh, I would say yes now, but there's a very high chance that I will bail the last month before the convention. Are you okay with that? <laughs> I tell them, I give my heads up, you know? Yeah, but usually I, nobody want to do group cosplay with me. I don't know why. Okay. Now you know why. <laughs> okay, now there's a very high, Flick chance that I will bear. Okay, thank you so much, Okan Thank, thank you for having me. Thank you.